Hello comrades, we are here where we left off in our winter wonderland field and um, pushing on with boxer construction, finishing the oil field. Let's take a look uh, how the earnings were, our little endeavor here. So we go here and last month and exports to the Soviet block oil, 16k, yeah. So I want to have like 30k as a, as a point of measure. Um, we now have not so much money. Let's join our ritual to get us more money. We have 75... Uh, seven, ah, numbers. <laughs> money. <laughs> because of awful. Let's repay. Okay. So... 900,000 borrowed. 300,000 in the bank. Okay. So, only short term loans. Mm. He's pumping. He has no customers. Let's get him some customers. How much percent are you, comrade? 52. Let's make it two. They are also quite close. Or a little thing to assign. Yeah, and surprise, surprise here. You can go. You can load. Okay. Get yourself a buddy to play with. Good start. Okay. So you, you have customers, and you, final process, let's get you some people, okay. So we are, oh, this one, yeah, should have people, yeah, as people. Okay, they're on the way, seven work days, seven work days. Seven work days. Seven work days. <laughs> Three buses for seven work. Yeah, okay. Don't get too <laughs> too excited about this. <sighs> get high priority and um, assign the peeps to the second one, which is should be medium priority. So they. Uh, uh, where is it gone? The, ah, here you are. <laughs> Hiding in the bushes. <laughs> okay. Good, good, good. Ugly rock. Um, not so ugly in the winter. What's the situation here? So we are uh, pre-power up the power. And we're building here and we're building here. I decided to have some people support here, maybe. Let's see. People. It's not there. Okay. So you need stuff. So let's deprioritize the people support. Mm. Let's rename you to people. Okay. Um, people. No. Okay. Because now he needs to uh, get some stuff. Ah, could leave the people there, but yeah. No biggie. Okay. Here the road is done, which is really nice. So I can start with my super mine. Mm. 
should be assigned automatically. So this one I will start to assign. Where are you? Okay. You can go straight out. You are you, you are you. Because I want to have this uh, stage finished, 700 work days, so they can truck the materials in for the next stage. Yeah. So we are playing here the fire game, which last time didn't work so super well. So... <laughs> um, I will get me some vehicles to help the fire station out. This one... Let's see if I have a road depot still in place somewhere. Don't think so. Let's get ourselves a road depot. What's that? Okay. And two buses. I want to have um, SKB SKD buses. With the capacity, total value, total capacity um, of 40. Maybe even a little bit. Oh, these were the biggest ones. Yeah, the smallest ones. Ignore the horse carriage. Um, modded, modded, modded. Yeah, this one. This is the smallest one, I think, of the non modded variety. Uh, next smaller one is only the minibus so yeah we take it. two of this sign you from here to there yes let's load some workers Mm, we need 30 percent. 30, 10 percent are four, 12. Yeah, should be enough. And mm -hmm. next one, go and space you out. So we should have basic five fire coverage in place. Let's tell them to go exclusively here. Let's tell them to go exclusively here. Thank you. Okay, let's activate the power and hope for the best. Maybe there was something I have seen here. Yeah, this one looks not so clean. But let's see. Power! Import. Yes. Hmm. So, let's start at the end. Power! Yes, man. Nice, nice. Okay. Okay, okay. So, here, yeah. We have our people crew in place. What's happening on the other side? Nope. Oh, well, who? Sorry, I was in in a thought process here. And it threw me off. Where am I? <laughs> Hello. Ah, here. Yeah. Yes, of course. Ugly rock. Um, <clears throat> you dealt with? Yeah, only people. Same as everywhere. Two ones don't know where the uh, crane is. You? Ah, what? You have no power. We have no power? Oh, we should have power. Uh oh. Oh. He's out of range. Poor little bugger. 
<laughs> no luck for you. <laughs> Maybe he do us a favor and burn down. Can we place another one somewhere here? Can't see about the white business. Anything. 24. Do something. Want at least 30. How, how misplaced I have you misplaced? Oh man, give me a break. <laughs> oh. Whatever, we are rich. <laughs> Can only optimize for one thing. <laughs> yes, yes. Everything is slower in snow. How's the main road looking? Not so great. Yeah. Okay. Life's hard. Mm. Ah, here's the crane. First batch of work days is already done. Okay. They get the second batch. Yeah. So like I said, I'm quite concerned about the prices. Because they changed it in the um, in the last with the realistic mode update. You will make a thorough investigation into the prices. I will make a special episode if my box site is online. Mm. Because it's quite important. Keep this in mind. Basically everything you export will lower your prices regarding what. And if you are low on people, low on population, which means under 50,000, <laughs> yeah, um, your prices will, lo will be lowered for exports. And if you are high on population, over 50,000, they will also be lowered. They will always be lowered, more or less. The factor in which they are lowered is not so big, the impact of prices. So this is for import and export. The idea is if you have big economies, big populations, you need, for example, much food. A big amount of food. So they want to uh, level this out by this price calculations. If you have... Hello, people. Okay. If you have a small amount of populations and you have big exports, you will kill your exports. <laughs> Just... Uh, yeah. Don't like it. Because I'm like min-maxing and I always have small populations. Um like don't like the snow either yeah i have always small populations is it started no this one no this one should be no sorry third try i always have small populations and if i um so the uh, factor of exports which are hurting me is bigger. Uh, the factor is way smaller if you export by ship or by train. Uh, not train, uh, plane. Plane is the word. Mm, sorry, I'm just taking a sip of water. 
if you are exporting by ship or by plane, the factor is smaller. Planes are, you know what, uh, problematic. Maybe you want to export your clothes by planes, but I don't think it's super nice. And export of vehicles does not affect your prices. Which is nice, but also very limiting. So if you want to have a very stable export economy, you should go for vehicle production. Which is limiting your options, which I don't like so much. Nice, they are here ready. I always like it if you have uh, more options, not less. So, um, this one, you will not feel the pain super fast, but it will lower your efficiency of your economy step by step. 1% here, 1% there, and um, everything goes to not good. Yeah. But it's okay, we deal with it. So, he needs... He needs customers. Hello. What I've said is uh, the look the what they need in terms of um, power is not so much. So it's really a modest amount of power what they need. So it's highly profitable. Give me oil tanks. One, two, three. Mm, we are getting full here. It's uh, most certainly because of the uh, weather conditions. Let's go here. Close you. Add you. Go here. Go there. Set you to load. Ah, oh, what a nice thing! If <laughs> if he's on the on the way to the uh, on the way to the depot, he may decide otherwise when it comes to uh, assignment and the actual order of things. Okay. Yeah. Go and get me some money. And this oil field will pay back for itself in a year or yeah, something like a year. So all cost, all in all. One hundred twenty-six. This one has finished its groundwork stage. Yeah, so it needs material, money-wise. Okay. Let's build ourselves uh, something very nice, which is a depot for our ships. Because we need to import a ship. Or two. Hmm. Let's see, do we have an ex... Oh, we have... Okay. A bulldozer, so we can use the living tool like a human being and not like I don't know what you have seen it two episodes ago <laughs> what tricks I have to make to level this one out good enough for government work so let's see ship depot a small one Dock. Small one is enough. Big one would be nicer, but I'm not in many spending land here. Somebody feel responsible for this road? Yes. 
let's assign them to be safe. Okay. Four days. Three days. Mm. <laughs> Three days. Okay. So the big takeaway of the price and trading uh, mechanics are <sighs> go faster, dude. <laughs> Bus race. Um, the big takeaway is don't overdo exports and imports. <laughs> Actually, uh, go self-sufficient is the best way. If you overdo exports or imports, the game will punish you. And if you do it greatly, the game will punish you greatly. Um, in that, for example, your oil is worth nothing nearly. Okay, we are in the next phase. We need stuff. Our people should go out. And our people can go in here. I think, yeah, he's only waiting for people. Should go swiftly. You go on high priority and you are on normal priority, so we will give you also some people. And this one uh, needs also some people, but uh, shall we wait or shall, shouldn't we wait? We shall wait. Okay. Good, good. Let's take a look at our money business here. Rock! <laughs> hmm. You are done. So let's get you done on high speed. 150k. Pumping, 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 pumping. Pumping. Okay. And the goddamn snow. <laughs> Why? Because our, our roads are cleared. Yeah. No fun in the Soviet Union. The concrete and... But yeah, it turns, it's not so much. But also, you know, if I can finish this one, why not? So the crane is here on the way. The people are here, it will be finished very fast. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, six days or so. Okay, Doki. I will make an end station for this one because now I have line spacing on and the buses uh, traveling here on this road will also go slower so they will stop the traffic. Here's one. Yeah, going on full speed. Maybe they are spaced out at the moment. Okay. Yeah. So they can go on full speed but uh, if I have no end station here I will slow them down and this one I didn't want. Second thing of the end station is... How many? Oh, nice. Uh, second one of the end station is... Um, he will refuel in the end station, which I also like. Yep. So they are going on. Let's go here. <laughs> it's like jumping from left to right. Yep. Some work days. Some excavator, some people. Let's look how. <laughs> I think my pipes are nicely balanced. We look at the situation here. 
There's nobody waiting. I'm curious how much the um, field brings in now. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pumps. I can squeeze in maybe another or two. Nine pumps and I would assume around 20 trucks. How many, how much does a truck cost? Nine K, so 180 K of trucks worth and the pumps are, yeah, it's 300 K I would say. So we are at, hmm, how's our export business going? 20k this month uh, yeah 20k oh nearly 80 yeah it's like I said around 30k this is the mark I want to hit don't want to go overboard with exports because it will hurt my prices but this is totally nice and uh, look what we have here <laughs> one power station a uh, couple of pumps and a couple of trucks yeah and we have a uh, nearly 30k of profit a month no people no nothing mm, that's why i said uh, it's slightly overpowered <laughs> Boy. yeah 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 but if you're crazy enough you can counter this one with yeah nice um you can counter this one with starting without money for example or you can simply enjoy the oil business. I really have no problem with that. No priority. Finish me this one. You are low priority. Still some concrete. Smack you on. Hi. You're on medium. And you need some people work. You on low. Yeah. So they should do this, do this, do this. Uh, why I balance the priorities is because I have only one crane and I want them to work with the crane, not without the crane. Yeah. Simple as that. Okay. Should be do be do. This one is progressing. 139 work days. That yeah, should be fast done. We're getting in uncomfortable money territory. The thing is, with my uh, short term loans, I need to be aware that I cannot rebalance on long terms, and uh, this can lead to a catastrophic situation where the repayment fees are higher than I can repay. So, if I have short term loans, the money I have to pay is very high, but I can rebalance them and I will not pay so much interest. At the moment, I can take 1.1 million additional loans, but I cannot uh, renew them to a longer term one, even if I have the income. So at the moment, we pay um, 2,500 rubles a day, which is, uh, comes to 60,000 rubles a month, which is double our income at the moment. So we have an income of uh, 30k. Uh, yeah. But if I would take this loan, uh, let's say for two years, I would be exactly at the income of my oil field. If I take it for three years, I will make a little surplus uh, six years, you know that rule. <clears throat> so the calculation is this, my oil field uh, pays for my loan and uh, the bauxite will pay for my city. <laughs> and the city will pay for my bauxite. Uh, no, 
I will have some workers and uh, yeah, get into the bauxite business a little bit more. And after that, we will see what we do. The challenge is, uh, I think, well described and mentioned by me. Um, at the max, have 10 years to build a radio station and crime and justice, which is a standard one, but I don't think I will take so long. And um, after Boxite is running, the next uh, thing will be making more money or providing people. I think building a town is a little bit more fun than waiting for something, doing nothing. Yeah. Uh, also inflation hits, you know, so if you do nothing and have an inflation of 10% after six years, uh, steel costs double that of now. <laughs> so this also uh, can be a pain. So fast and fast we go. Thank you on low priority. Would be a great idea to actually uh, build this one if it snows because it's nearer. Yeah. They don't need to drive so long. Mine is nearly ready. Five work days. Let us do that. So you go on low priority, you go on you are on low priority. You go on high priority. Okay. Last pump needs a customer. Is the last pump finished? Hello. Yep. Yeah. 31%. Told you so. <laughs> okay. So now we are finished with the oil business thingy. We can do here something when it comes to it, but at the moment I'm satisfied with the solution and it's totally enough. However, I will plan an extension to this side. So I need to get rid of this one. Because here, if we drive here and 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 here, <laughs> schwupp die wupp, we are at the western side, um, which could be something I want to do and where I want to be. It's far away, but I have something in mind. Okay. Also, we could um, build a little bridge here to this one and go to our peeps this way. It's also nice. Long term projects. Um, yeah. Oh, it's four ink. It's nice. Five hundred days, one crane. Let's say twenty people. They should be very fast. Or ten people, ten days. This one. Get rid of it. No one needs that. Lost a little bit of gravel, but don't care. Ah, 
I like the spring. Everything looks possible. <laughs> Not like a white mess. Let's start this one. connection yeah okay my new situation okay we need also some people here to do the work let's see what he does 400 work days no people where are you and one is on the side. Yeah. So let's check our oil feed if I really, really have everything I need and want. The jacks are pumping. Yeah. Just really a good sign, it seems to be well balanced. Yeah, very nice. You see, so, so, yeah. if I had uh, measured it a little bit too high, I would cut them down, but uh, I'm happy with it. Okay. Money situation. Oh, two hundred work days. Okay, we need to make serious rebalancing of our loans. So now we go for five years. We go for. Mm, yeah, for sure. Six hundred K. Oh, more than I thought. So now we have to pay one thousand six hundred rubles a day, which amounts to eighteen K a month, which is less than we earn. <laughs> so it's good. This is new. Um, mm -mm -mm. So after that. I think we'll let them in. Yeah, let them be. I could buy a second people and construction crew, but I think I'm fast enough here. Or maybe I don't. Hmm. Hard to say. I rather like to wait a little bit than to uh, overdo it. But maybe a second people crew would be nice. But also, also... Should I go? Oh, good idea. I need power. Strongest power line. A little bit cross country here. Do we cheese it? <laughs> 
Yes, you cheese it. <laughs> um, she's tool. She's tool. I really like it because uh, of the of this uh, wonderful method. The they are less in the way. Just for me a plus. Don't like my lines to be in the way. And as a bonus for your entertainment, I can make some errors and you will <laughs> come to enjoy me fighting them. Yeah, always a good idea in this game to open yourself up for errors. Will this not? <laughs> what was floating around there? Okay. I think they are assigned, but assign them anyway. Okay. How are we doing here? Nice. Nearly finished. Okay, okay. Hundred work days, so it's mm, seven workers. Let's wait for a better number. <laughs> seven work days times uh, with a train, it's thirty-five work days uh, in game day. Now we are running out ten workers. <laughs> it stays at seven, so f thirty-five work days a day. So this one is uh, finished on seven in the game days. Here comes the next bus. 14 workers now. Maybe I would buy myself a second bus train crew. Getting impatient. Impatient a little bit. It's mostly the uh, micromanagement part, which is a little bit on the taxing side when it comes to don't be annoyed. Have I still free? Free what's? No, I don't. Okay, let's accept this. Hmm. <laughs> Can get. Can get rid of the excavator construction office, but it also does a good job. Okay, so I think it's a nice time to stop here. Next episode, we will open our business up. Yeah. Here, should we buy our first ship? Shippity ship? <laughs> ah, cargo ship. Shipping is damn expensive, so uh, don't get uh, don't get too caught up with shipping because you save on export prices. First, secure some reasonable export and then go for shipping. Would be my advice to this one. Um, also, you can go with modern shipping chips here. You see, they are much friendlier for your pocket. But we stay on vanilla, so we are not friendly to our pocket. <laughs> Which, this one is our uh, corporate. So, he provides 1,000 tons. <clears throat> has a capacity of uh, 1,100 tons. Is very slow. And cumbersome, but I have uh, also the waterway is still done for me. The 
there's no need to um, build rails. There's no need that I need people for my rail construction office. Because people, you know, here, these are restricted resources either. So I have 150, which looks a lot. But if I start and pull out people for my bauxite business, they will go down. And if you have no people, you get nothing done. And you need to find some other creative solutions. Uh, have more borders or whatever. But yeah, doing everything and expect enough people to be there is also not the best idea. I have a new train. Okay. So here it comes. Glorious. He costs 250... 250 grand and he will bring me in about 50 grand uh, delivery and he can go to the border I don't know how much at least once per month I think so he will pay back itself for uh, after half a year which is always how I calculate things so return of investment yeah and with this <laughs> I leave you there and we will see you next time bye bye comrade